Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Phil Brown coming at you as per usual. Um, <laughs> really kind of an impromptu thing here, clearly. Um, <laughs> as you can see, I do work though, right? Unlike some people, wonder where they get their money. I don't know. Um, essentially, I just want to say, you know what? I get a lot of thank yous for speaking out and shit. I don't need that, right? I, I appreciate it. Believe me, I appreciate it. But what I would prefer is if you took that information and fucking ran with it and stopped being quiet about it, right? The more people, and there's a, there's a ton of people on our side out here, the more people that understand the fucking psyops that are going on all around us, the better off we're all going to be, folks. There's a lot of disinformation agents. A lot. We covered them last night. Right? It doesn't matter where this fucking... Uh, uh, where this list came from, you can, you can, you can fight it. You can ignore it. You can, oh, well, it's, it's because they're, they're all fucking butthurt, whatever. But at the end of the day, every fucking name on that list are all the most popular, uh, podcasters in this country. The most popular groups that are literally treading water and doing absolutely nothing to fight for you or me. Like I always say, nobody's coming to fucking save you. It's only you. Right? I don't I don't let this shit get to me and I don't like to harp on this shit either, but we're at a pinnacle point in this country where people need to get wise to what the fuck you're doing. Right? I know these guys. I don't even need to say the name. I know these idiots. 100%. It's not like I just see them on the internet and all their feds. No, no. They were at my fucking house. I've met all these motherfuckers personally, and I can tell you 100%, they're working against you. I don't know if they're feds. I don't care if they're feds. They're paid by the feds, period. doesn't matter what they're doing or the RCMP, they're under... It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is these groups that you keep following and giving all your money to in hopes for a better future, these groups are literally working against you and in collusion with people like the anti-hate people, right? You think they're all working against each other. They're not. Here's a little fucking story for you. It was a Friday night of the first weekend of the convoy, right? Two of your leaders around seven o'clock said they had to go meet the good cops. Good cops. I didn't know that we were even dealing with cops. Because in my opinion, cops are Zog or, or, or Zog bots, right? Zionist uh, own government bots. They're doing whatever the government tells them to do. So in my opinion, right, unless you're a retired police officer noticing the same things we are, you're not on our side. So I was questioning right away why these two people were going to meet good cops, right? Didn't realize they were out there. Fast forward to 11 p.m. that night. All of a sudden, they're on the news again, right? Annie Hates got a new fucking, a new spiel about him. So my question is, where did these two idiots really go? Huh? Huh? And then end up on the news again. I don't know, man. Just like the January 6th comment that put the black cloud of bullshit over the convoy before it even started. If you fucking morons think this is all just just happening, these are all coincidences, you're again, you're fucking lost. There are no coincidences out here. Everything is coordinated against you. These people are not helping you, right? The only people that are going to help you is you. And that's the, that's the message that needs to reign supreme. The only way out of any of these fucking problems is if we collectively come together and fix that shit where you live, right? I don't know why this is such a hard concept. There literally is nobody coming to save you. Anybody that's telling you they're out there fighting a good fight are full of fucking shit. They're full of shit. I've been doing this crap way too fucking long to be, you know, undermined by a bunch of fucking... Lying sacks of government paid bullshit. Again. What was the wad of money that was passed over my table? 
right? Why did they push to not have somebody's fucking testimony in the POEC televised? Possibly because they said they would work with RCMP in the future and they ratted out a couple of people? What happened to Thomas Zog? Swatted. Who did that? But keep following them, right? Keep following them. And all the people that leave and they demonize and they fucking go out of their way to hurt socially in their own lives. Why do you think they do that? So that people shut their fucking mouths and don't tell them what they really know. Unfortunately, now's not the time to stay quiet, ladies and gentlemen. Speak the fuck up. Speak the fuck up. Got to be smarter than this. The government's got all our tax dollars at, at, at its disposal. Where do you think those tax dollars are going? They want to turn this country into a communist shithole. Third world shithole. Right? Best way to do that is to make sure that all the people don't realize what's going on right under their fucking noses. And that everybody's pacified three to five nights a week, slamming beers, smoking dope, doing drugs, and watching these fools. Right? Well, they're out there doing the heavy lifting for you. It's really working out, isn't it? We've gotten so much better since the convoy, haven't we? It's time to wake up, Canada. Wake the fuck up, man. We keep going down this path another year. Right? How many of you are going to be on the street? How many of you are going to be crushed by this fucking communist dictatorship of a Canadian government we have? I'm telling you right now, it's hard for me. And I do good. Right? I don't think I'll be on the street, but in the same respect, I ain't going to be any better than I am now. Wake up, folks. Nobody's coming to save us. But we can all save ourselves. Peace.